Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Kathy. In order for you to use the free gift that I've given you and to get your Connect With Me box up and running, you'll have to follow the simple instructions that I've laid out in this presentation. But don't worry, I've done all the work for you. All you have to do is plug in some information and you'll have a professional Connect With Me box in just a few short minutes. The first thing you'll have to do is decide which image you prefer. As you can see, I created two for you to choose from. One has a cute little twitty bird and the other is a little more professional looking. So depending on the look and feel of your blog, you can choose the one that, that will really work best with you. So I've sent you an email that contains both of these graphics and actually each of them is in two different sizes along with the HTML code that you'll use to link the social media icons to your Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube sites. If you're serious about building an online business, it's really important for you to create your own personal brand using each of these. So if you don't have Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, then I really suggest you start thinking about that and putting that into place. So depending on the theme you're using on your blog, you, you'll want to determine which size image will fit best in your sidebar. For each of the graphics, as I said, I've supplied one, one image that measures 250 pixels wide and another that's 300 pixels wide. One of these should fit well into your site. Using the next couple of slides, I'll show you how to figure out which size you'll want to use. And really, it doesn't matter whether or not you understand the code. Just follow these simple steps. The first thing you'll have to do is log into your dashboard. You should already have your username and password and once you do get into the back end it will look like this. So you'll scroll down to the appearance section on the left and select edit. When you do this will open the stylesheet.css file in, in the box here. If this file doesn't open, just scroll down to the bottom of the page and select uh, that, that file which is stylesheet.css and open it, but it should appear in this window. So scroll down all the way in the code until you find the sidebar section and when you do make note of the width settings, so it will say width with a pixel number. If the width is between 250 and 299 pixels, you'll use a 250 pixel graphic. If it's 300 or more pixels, you'll use one of the 300 pixel graphics. Download the image that you're going to use from the email that I've sent you onto your computer. And next you'll upload the graphics that you selected to your image library. You should still be logged into your dashboard, so just go to the media section and click add new. When you do that, the Upload New Media window will appear. Click on the Select Files button and navigate to the image that you've saved to computer. Then just click on that graphic. Once it's uploaded, the image will appear in the window. Scroll down to the file URL and copy it into a text file. You're going to need this URL to copy it into the Connect With Me box into your blog. Now you're ready to put it all together. You should still be logged into your dashboard, so go to the Appearance section and click on Widgets. As you can see, the Widgets section has a column on the right which determines how the sidebar on your blog looks. There's also a middle column that contains all of the widgets that you can add to your sidebar. You might already have several widgets installed or your sidebar column may be blank. It really just depends on, on how your blog is already set up. You're going to be adding a text widget and paste the appropriate code HTML code from the email I sent you into the text box. When you scroll down in the screen, you'll see a box that says text. Just click on the box and drag it into the sidebar section. Once your cursor is over the sidebar section, you'll notice that a new box will appear with dashed lines as shown in this slide. As you move the text box inside the sidebar, you'll be able to posi position it in whatever order you choose. Once it's where you want it, just drop it into the sidebar. Open the text widget by clicking on the down arrow in the text box. If you're using the Connect With Me widget that inc includes the Connect With Me text, you can leave the title blank. For the other box, you want to add a title that reads Connect With Me or something to that effect. 
Now just copy the code that is supplied through the email into the box below the title. All you have left to do is to customize the code. As you can see on this slide, I've highlighted the code that you'll need to replace. You'll be adding links to your own Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube sites, along with the image code that you've already copied from your media library. Click Save, log out of the dashboard, and take a look. Your Connect box should appear in your sidebar, and when you click on the images, they should uh, link directly to your social media sites. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and just want to let you know that we have a lot of good stuff coming to you and some great trainings for anybody who really decides to team up with us. We really look forward to working with you and sharing. Hope you have a great day and here's to your success. Bye.